Good evening. You know, there aren't many places where you find a caring and compassionate community willing to join with you on life's journey. Here at St. Thomas More, that's exactly what we do. I'm Peter Reese. I'm the life partner of Judith, father of two amazing young men, Everett, who's a freshman in college, and Will, who's an eighth grader here at St. Thomas More School. Currently, I lecture and am a member of the stewardship and anti-racism groups. Judith Cantors serves on the anti-racism group, serves several of our, or leads several of our performing arts events, and most recently served on the school commission and COVID task force. Everett served as an acolyte when he was younger, and Will sings in the kids' choir and will be serving as an acolyte very soon. Lastly, I joined the Synod listening sessions thanks to RJ's kick in the pants homily of a few weeks back. I still have the boot print. Um, all right, so this year's stewardship thing got me thinking that through all the course of our time here and living our lives with you, you have watched us as young parents. Some of you have seen, or some of you have been our children's adopted aunts and uncles. You've prayed for us, our relatives, and our friends. You've asked a million times how, we're, how we were doing, and you actually wanted to know. You have taken time to share your life wisdom with us, and you have wowed us with your love and talents. Together with you, we have mourned the loss of parents, siblings, spouses, and children. We have eaten 10,000 donuts, plates of spaghetti and fried fish, and we have sung thousands of songs and prayed millions of prayers. And at times, we have daydreamed with you when we couldn't quite focus on Mass. We've laughed out loud at jokes sitting around a table, at an auction, a festival, or a dinner, and we've waved from the side of the road or chatted in the grocery aisle or while volunteering. And in a good and very Jesuit way, this has all been our journey of faith in the real world of daily life, and all of it with you. So here we are again in our Stewardship Commitment Month, sharing stories of why we are here and why we continue to give of our funds and quite truly ourselves. Simply put, for us, it is one of the most selfish acts we can do because you have been with us from the beginning and we want you to continue to be with us and God willing, you will be with us at our end. So thank you for all of it. Thank you for being with us and our family. Thank you for giving to this community of your funds and yourselves. And let's pray for the stewardship campaign. 